believe in the afterlife. My religion tells me that the spirit is eternal, like the phoenix. And I really want to hang on to that thought because I want my spirit to be like the phoenix. Let me tell you my daughter's story. My daughter passed away in 2012 from cancer. And unfortunately, that is something that it's every day happening. However, when she was young, my friends would say, your daughter is strange. And I would say, she's not strange, she's different. I would say that because quite often Daniela would say to me, mom, you know I love you and you brought me into this world, but I'm not your daughter, you're not my mother. I belong in Egypt and I will go back. But when I come back, I will teach you what you don't know. Daniela was 51 and single when she passed away. So it was left up to me to sort out her belongings. Three weeks after she passed, I was looking into her diary and I found a note where she wrote that she, was, she would be leaving for Egypt again on the 12th of October and she would arrive at the Valley of the Kings on the 21st of October. Now, as time went by, I found that she was really in no condition to be traveling to Egypt. She was very ill. However, that was her thought. Three weeks after she passed, I looked into her diary again, and when I read that she was leaving for Egypt, it really broke my heart because I thought, will I ever see her again if she leaves this time? On the 12th of October, while she was in palliative care, Daniela fell asleep. She didn't eat, talk, sleep, drink, didn't cry in pain because she was not in pain apparently. I asked doctor, is she in a coma? And he'd say, no, she's asleep, let her be. Anyway, this was the 12th of October. 10 days later, while her sister Kelly was sitting by her bed, Daniela woke up, looked around the room, and Kelly told me that as soon as they heard my footsteps up the corridor, Daniela once again looked around the room, gave everyone a big smile, then she closed her eyes and she passed away without a sound. That was the 21st of October, as she said in the diary that she would arrive at the Valley of the Kings. Now, since she passed away, she has channeled me basically every night. And for 11 months, she channeled me, telling me to write a book. Every night, for six to eight hours, I would sit with my laptop and I would just tap on the keyboard. And uh, with her guidance, I wrote a book of 470 pages. Since then, I've actually written two more manuscripts and a number of award-winning poems. Now, I have to tell you that that is my pride. My daughter has guided me and it's my, my life. Now I've become an author. You might be thinking about what's wrong with my mind now. Well, I often wondered myself because life truly is a beautiful mystery to me. And I often think, what, what is life? What is being a phoenix? What happens when I leave this world? Will my spirit look, search and find my daughter's spirit again? So let me ask you, is being a phoenix just a state of mind? Thank you for listening.